Adobe Spark is an online video tool that allows you to easily create short videos using pictures, text, voice narration, and other video clips. Best of all, you don't need to have any fancy video editing skills to create a nice polished project. To create an effective digital story with Spark, you will need a plan and will need to collect media before you do any editing. For my project on the problem of e-waste, I've collected a variety of images and media and put them in a folder on my Google Drive. And here is my script. In all caps, I have the picture or video that will be on screen and the narration that accompanies the media is right below it. I thought it would be very effective to use some video of the toxic e-waste dumps in third world countries, so I found some clips on YouTube like this one. There are many tools that enable you to pull a video from YouTube, but one that works well from school is called Save From Net. You simply paste in the link to the YouTube video that you want to download, wait, and then click download. To stay copyright compliant, I will be only using small chunks of this video and I will cite my source in the credits. After you have carefully scripted out your narration and the media you want to use, you can begin creating your video. To get started, go to spark.adobe.com and click login. Choose continue with Google and sign in with your Jeffco Google account, the one that combines your ID number with at jeffcoschools.us. Any projects that you have already started will be shown here. To start a new project, click the plus button. And for this assignment, choose video. I typically skip this part and choose start from scratch since I like to begin with a blank canvas, but you could use one of the templates if you want to. If a tutorial pops up on your screen, just close it. You'll be building this project as a series of scenes or slides that will flow together to create a visual project or video. You can choose from four different layouts for each slide and you'll be able to choose from preloaded music and themes to enhance your project. Let's visit that themes tab first to choose an overall look for the project. You can hover over each theme to get a preview of it, but in most cases you will be using pictures, graphs, or video as your background, so the color that you see here will only be visible for title and credit slides. I just recommend choosing a theme that has a font that you like and a transition style that you like. Now go back to the layout tab to choose the layout for your first slide. It often makes sense to start using a title slide, so I'll choose the title and text layout to create a traditional title slide. These plus signs are where I can add my text. Once added, I can drag and drop the text to a new location on the slide. This plus over here lets me alter the background of the slide. Instead of the red color, I can use an image or video, and I will show how to do that next. Spark has already created a credit slide for me, but to add a new slide, I will use the Add button. New slides default to a blank or full screen layout. I'm going to use the photo option to add the first picture I want to use for the narrated part of my project. Click Upload Photo and then browse to where the photo lives. If you want to add text also to this slide, click the plus. If it's too large, you can try using the caption layout to see if you like the look better. Spark does not give me a lot of control over text appearance, but truthfully, I think the text detracts from the power of this picture and since I'm going to be narrating, I don't see a need for text on the slide, so I'm going to get rid of it. To add narration to your slide, click and hold the microphone icon. The first time you do this, you will be prompted to allow Spark to access the microphone on your Chromebook. Make sure you say yes. It's really easy to cut your narration off when you're recording, since you're clicking and holding this button, so wait at least a second or two before you begin talking, and wait at least a second before you release the microphone button so you don't cut yourself off at the end of your narration. Click the play button to preview your narration. And if you don't like it, just click that microphone icon again, which will erase it and allow you to re-record. Let's add another slide for a video I want to include. Each slide in Adobe Spark will only show 30 seconds of video per slide. There is a way to continue a video between slides but it's often more effective to use videos in small segments. I'll browse to and select the video just like I did for my images. 
This is a YouTube video that is much longer than 30 seconds, so I just need to use this slider to select the part I want to show. Click Play to preview your selection, and then click Save to add it. This video from YouTube has its own narrator and audio, but I want to use my narration instead. This video is simply serving as an interesting background to use for my video, so to remove its narration, I'm going to click on the pencil in the top right to access some editing tools. If I needed to continue this video on the next slide because I needed more than 30 seconds, I can click this button and the video will pick up on the next slide where it left off on this one. But I just want to mute the video's sound, so I'm going to click the volume icon and then mute. Now that the clip's volume is muted, I can use the microphone to record my own narration. You can keep a video's original narration if it suits your project. So here is an example of a different slide that I have added to my project with that same YouTube video. But I trimmed it here just to include a part of an interview that I want to integrate into my project. And this is what it sounds like. Life is really difficult, you know, because they eat here surrounded by e-waste, so much burning, a lot of toxic substances. And they basically are here to earn a living. So combining your original narration with some of the interviews you might find in video clips is a nice way to enhance your project. You can also use your own original video that you take with your cell phone or a digital camcorder. You'll just upload that just like you did any other picture or video. Let me add a new slide and show you the split screen format. On this slide, I'll add a graph that I want to use. I can't see the full picture clearly, so I'm going to click the pencil to resize my graphic. And on this side of the slide, I want to add a statistic that I want to emphasize. Split screen can be a really nice format for emphasizing facts and figures. If you need to rearrange the order of your slides for your project, you just click and drag them around using these thumbnails along the bottom. And to preview how the project is looking, click this preview button. As people acquire more and new technology devices, the problem of e-waste grows and grows. One thing that will probably be a surprise is the background music. Adobe Spark just randomly chooses a song, and this happy tune does not fit the tone of my project at all. So I'm going to close my preview and visit the Music tab to fix that. Here's a long list of preloaded songs that are sorted by tone that you can preview and use in your projects. I was not able to find a song that really fit my project here, so I will click Add My Music to upload my own song that fits the tone better. You can use any of your own songs provided the format uploads into Spark. MP3 is your best option. You also may need to use the slider to turn down the music if it's drowning out your narration and you can turn background music completely off if you don't want it. Spark is auto-saving as I go, which is great, but I will need to share or finalize my project to turn it in. When you're all done, choose the Share button. Give your story a title and choose Education as your category. If you don't want your project promoted on the Spark website, turn this off and then choose Create Link. This part can take a while, so just be patient. Here is the link you will turn in to your teacher. Copy it and submit it per teacher directions. And that's it. Adobe Spark is an easy to use tool that allows you to create amazing visual stories. Your work auto saves and you can return to your Spark dashboard to access your projects whenever you need to do some more editing.